Hi, Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about some fun things, a couple of things, my new earrings. And I also want to talk to you about understanding my style, the style of Above Life Channel, because there are a ton on of people who do channeling and who share that on YouTube and in other platforms. And there's differences. And I want to specifically talk to you about my style and why I do uh, discussions and conversations with afterlife celebrities and spirit in the way that I do so you can understand how Above Life Channel works. Okay, so first let's talk about some fun. My earrings, look at these, check these out. Now, although I have very short hair and I've had it for quite some time, I don't usually wear big earrings. I wear little earrings from time to time, understated. However, I have been so inspired by the incredibly beautiful and stylish women of Hollywood that I have met and channeled in the afterlife. Women like Judy Garland and Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe and Natalie Wood, for example. Now, I will tell you that after my Marilyn Monroe transformative channel that I did share with you, if you're interested, go find that Marilyn Monroe playlist. There's a couple of videos out there for you if you love Marilyn. And after I channeled her, I really felt like I was like, I wasn't prepared for the style that she had. Like she had very strong opinions about the way that I would dress or look when I channeled her. And I talked about that a little bit in the, the one of the videos, the after video, the follow-up video about the comments and the things that she was like trying to get me to darken my eyes and brighten my lips. And I mean, she really had some opinions um, to present her energy really effectively. And so I was inspired by her and I purchased these actually thinking that the next time I would channel Marilyn, I'll wear them. I'm not channeling her today, but I think the next time I'll channel her, I'll wear them. So let me tell you a little story again, connected to these, especially the Hollywood starlets, let's call them the Hollywood actresses, the Hollywood famous afterlife guests that we have talked to so far, only a few um, talked to so far. So I also want to make sure that I honor and include um, Catherine Hepburn and Jean Harlow in that because those are ladies that I've also talked to as well. I'm sure there's a couple more that um, that we also have here on Above Life channel. So this morning I was going through and I was looking through my channel because I like to try to every couple of days or so I like to kind of go through and what I call weed the garden. I like to have the flowers fully present, the positive energy present, and the comments that are in that, in alignment with that positive energy um, present. And then sometimes there are, there are comments and there are people that aren't quite as positive. And so I just weed those out to keep things as positive as I can. And I recognize as the channel grows, I might not be able to do that all the time, but I'll try. I'll see what I can do for now, okay? And so I was doing that this morning and I said out loud, wow, people are really mean. People can be so angry and so upset and just need a place to vent or somebody to blame or something. You know, it's just, they just need to get it. It's like, Sometimes people, I think, need to just get it out. And I don't take that personally. I, I really don't, you guys. If you, see the, if you see comments that aren't so positive, please don't feel bad for me, really. I don't take it personally, and I hope that you won't either. You don't have to defend me or anything like that. Just, um, just, just understand and be compassionate that that person must, maybe must be going through a really difficult time to, to need to vent, and, and that's okay. I mean, don't, please don't, don't worry about that, okay? And so I said it out loud, I said, wow, people can be really mean, wow, my goodness. And then delete, you know, block kind of thing. And then just move on, like about my day. Then I went and just poured a cup of coffee and I went in to, to, to my husband because I wanted to share with him. So right after I, right after I said, wow, people can be mean, I stepped back, I went to go get my coffee cup and I clearly heard, darling, it's Hollywood. Everyone has drama. <laughs> I was like, that's probably true. It's Hollywood, right? 
I mean, that's what I'm dealing with is afterlife celebrities, famous people, whether they're actually in Hollywood, whether they're actresses, actors, in the movies, on television, whether they're musicians, entertainers, performers, on Broadway, whatever it is, it, I can't even imagine, I cannot even imagine how difficult or intense the criticism and the judgment and the meanness that they deal with from fans that feel like they've been dissed or from, from critics that have never been on stage in their lives writing about a review about the performance or that kind of a thing. You know, I just, I cannot even imagine the amount of, of negative pressure stuff coming right at them. And I'm, I'm really humbled by that. Like I'm aware of that and the in incredible scrutiny that people who are in the public eye go through. And so part of Above Life Channel is me honoring them as people and the wisdom they have as spirit. Because once we cross over into spirit, there's no hierarchy. Everyone's equal. You can go hang out with Elvis in the afterlife if you want. You can go hang out with Prince. You can go hang out with Elizabeth Taylor, Natalie Wood. If you have questions for them, you can ask them yourself. And I don't mean you have to be spirit to do it. You do not. You do not. Anyone and everyone can connect with spirit in the afterlife, no matter which spirit it is. And you can do that for yourself. You can, you can. And so part of Above Life Channel is really to honor the energy of who we all are, we, whether you're famous or not. It doesn't matter, we are all people. Famous people are people too, so try to respect them, their privacy, be compassionate to them because they're dealing with a lot. Did they choose that? Maybe. But that, there's, that doesn't mean they have to take all the bad stuff with it as well. You know, I mean, it's just, it's, we all make choices, but that doesn't mean people can be mean to them and hard on them or what have you. You know, it's just, it's got, there's got to be some kind of balance here. There really does. And so I hope Above Life Channel helps to do that by inspiring your spirit, remembering that you, you are here to live your life, you have a life, so live it. And giving you some hope, you know, giving you hope and, and that positive force, that positive boost of inspiration that maybe will help you through your day, through a difficult time, or give you some perspective that maybe you didn't have before. I know that I've learned a lot from these conversations myself, and I am very grateful for them. All right, so who was it that said, darling, it's Hollywood. Everyone has drama. Okay, so the two that I thought of, because those are the, the videos that came up that I was weeding um, the comments on, were Judy Garland and Natalie Wood. And Natalie Wood and Judy Garland. And so I thought, oh, it might be one of those two. And then right away, so I went into my husband and I said, hey, I just heard, and I told him what I heard. And, and I said I was weeding the comments on the Natalie Wood, because that one, seems like it gets a lot and probably because of the mystery and around her her crossing over probably and um judy garland too people have a lot of opinions about that but i get some really great comments to you guys i get some really great questions and feedback and input that's just great stuff great i appreciate that keep them coming and i'm like who i don't know which who one this was and I thought for a second, he said, that doesn't sound like, and I'm like, I stopped for a minute and we both said, Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> it sounds like Elizabeth Taylor. That's who that sounds like. I said, I have not channeled her in a long time. Maybe I should channel her. I think I should chat with her again. I really liked her. I liked Liz. She's got gumption. She's powerful and strong, and but she might have been a mean girl. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know. We'll have to have another conversation with her and find out perhaps, right? So, so then the story behind the earrings then, so then this morning after that whole conversation happened and experience happened this morning, I went, I really was inspired to put the earrings on and I thought, I don't, I don't really feel like channeling Marilyn Monroe today. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know who loves these? Elizabeth Taylor. She loves these. And so that's kind of an honoring to her, a nod to her. So 
Kind of fun, huh? Interesting how it is. Oh, my psychic life at Above Life channel. It's very interesting. So let's talk about the topic that I wanted to mention to you, which is filling in the blanks and the way that I channel. Um, I've had some questions about that and some criticism as well in regards to the way that I channel. Now, please know that I do not compare myself to other channels, other YouTube channels, other channelers, other psychics. I, I don't that's not something that is part of my energy. So I think there's plenty of room for everyone at the table. I don't have any problem with that. And so while maybe you feel that I should be more direct or break some, uh, solve some incredible mysteries, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that unless unless it's the wish, desire, or intent of the spirit in the afterlife, which usually it is not. And do you know why? Do you know why people like Natalie Wood in the afterlife as a spirit wouldn't be dwelling on their death? Why might that be? You see, I think we'll all understand once we are spirit, when we are in heaven, when we are in our afterlife, whatever that may be or look like for you based on your belief system, you can ask her yourself and by then it won't even matter to you because the spirit doesn't have that kind of angst or they're not usually disgruntled let me say that if someone is fully crossed over and in the afterlife form and has totally embraced their spiritual life as a spirit which is kind of like they're like rays of the sun people that's what they're like they're like rays beams of the sunlight that's what they feel like that's what they are like most of the time there's only a very tiny percentage of spirit that is kind of stuck or somehow attached to their human lives and most are not and it may surprise you to learn that and you may not believe that and that's okay i'm not asking you to change your beliefs or to be something different than you are i'm not asking that in fact above life channel is here to what inspire your spirit fill you up with hope and encourage you to live your life so you see, it's really not my desire or my business to dig into drama. I am not TMZ, although they are interesting to watch at times, aren't they? They do break some really big stories. I'm not the Daily Mail either. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I just, I'm not, I'm not, that's not why I channel. That's not why I do this. That's not why I do this. And so, if that's your thing, I'm sure you can find lots of other channels and channelers and psychics that will address issues like that, and that's fine. I'm sure there are other uh, avenues for you to pursue if you're interested in that as well. But I hope you'll continue to watch Above Life Channel, even though I don't point blank force push or bully the spirit into responding or answering our questions based upon just curiosity, because what does it do for your life? What is it gonna do for your life if you understand, um, if you know, I shouldn't say understand, that's not quite the right word, if you understand, yeah, if you know, what is it, how is your life gonna be better if you know how Natalie Wood die, Woods died? How is that really gonna change your life? Perhaps you would much more benefit from some of her information and her reflection on her life as a whole. Most of us are not going to want to focus on the moment of our death and how we died. Do you want to be remembered by how you died? Do you, in those final moments of your life, whether it's tragic or intense or dramatic or quiet, alone or surrounded by family after you've battled an incredibly deadly disease, with strength, dignity, and integrity. Do you want to be remembered by how you died? Or much rather, would you want to be celebrated for your legacy of how you lived your life? I'm guessing we all want to be honored and remembered by how we lived. And so too, that's part of the premise of Above Life Channel. So thank you so much for your comments. I really appreciate them and I'm going to use your comments, especially the questions that you have. Thank you for posting questions on the videos because then I can go back when I wanna revisit people like Elizabeth Taylor, or as I like to call her, Liz. 
Liz Taylor, then I can use those comments, uh, those questions to ask during the, the conversation. That's so great, you guys. I really do appreciate that. That's fantastic. Keep them coming. And so I do want to also address the fill in the blanks. So why do I leave holes or gaps when I have discussions with um, afterlife celebrities? Why do I leave holes or gaps? Why don't I fill that in? Um, because I think it's important to not do research. I do not do research before I do a video. I am super upfront with you and authentic and I share with you what I know before I, as I'm doing the video before I channel because I wanna go in pure, totally pure. I don't do research. I don't know when they died, how old they were. I don't, I don't know these things because I don't research it. What's the point of that? Let's just go to the source, which is that person, that spirit. Let's let them talk to me about stuff. That's what I'm interested in. Why would I look stuff up? I'm not gonna write a book about famous dead people. And if I did, it would be about channeling them, not about the facts, because you are absolutely right. If there are facts and information, you guys can go search it yourself. If you love that celebrity, chances are you have researched them, read so many books about them, you know the facts. And what you wanna know is the spirit, how they feel, how they felt, and they, as they reflect upon their life, how they feel when they transitioned into the afterlife. That's the interesting stuff, you guys. Anybody can research and share your facts. So that's not how I channel. I channel as pure as I can. I do not read stuff ahead of time. After the channel, as you'll see, because I often will do follow-up videos, I talk about things that my brain could not let go in the channel, like I just wanted to know. What is this? Is this accurate? What was she talking about? I don't know. Like I usually check after I do a video and I post it, I usually check the, um, when I do a follow-up video, in the follow-up video I, have, I check the, like the death date, when they died or what they died of. And because I'm curious, I have, I'm a person, you guys, I'm a human being. So my brain wants to know, like, wow, was I accurate? Like, did I interpret that correctly? when they died, how they died, and who their family is, like their kids and stuff, because to me, family's really important, and so I wanna honor that, and that's kind of how I connect or, or build a relationship or relate to people, is like, you know, that, you know, what do we have in common kind of a thing, and so I like to know who their children are, and I also want to be respectful of their family when I do channeling, and so that's important to me, too, to know that. So afterwards, I might Google do a Wikipedia just to see, because I'm curious and my brain wants to know. But otherwise, you guys, research us for you guys. If you love somebody, uh, afterlife, musician, celebrity, entertainer, famous person, you can read all the books you want about them. I am not interested in doing that. <laughs> That's just not my thing. That's not my style. So I like to be really authentic. And I'm super open about that. Because guess what? Being psychic doesn't mean I'm any, any more special than anybody else. And I really feel that everyone can connect, everyone is intuitive, and I want you to understand that that means that as you are learning and learning how to use your own intuition that you are going to be, um, you're going to misunderstand or misinterpret some information that you get, but that should not stop you from trying, from building the connection with your spirit, from learning how to use your own intuition, and from trusting yourself. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody's going to get it wrong sometimes, and that has been a learning journey for me because I've been really, I've really prided myself on my life about being accurate, making sure that I'm, you know, in full integrity and sharing what the truth is of situations, the facts of circumstances. And as a psychic, that really is a challenge at times because the, of the interpretation. And so I think it's really important for me to be really authentic with you and show you what real channeling is like without it being all edited for television. <laughs> so this is Bridget. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you, it helps you understand the purpose of Above Life Channel a bit more. And I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the new weekly channeling videos.